AMT Ertles 1934 Ford Five Window Coupe coming up next on What's in the Box. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Hello everybody, my name is Trevor Selescu and I'm the owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. Tonight we have a special treat because we're going to open up the lid on AMT Ertles 1934 Ford Five Window Coupe Kit. This is an old classic. I'm not sure if they're re released it under round two yet, but hey, come on guys, let's pop some more out. Now, let's go down and open up the lid on this beauty and see what's inside the box. Aerodynamic styling starting to take effect in 1933 and 34, and we're going to investigate this in our 1934 Ford three or five window coupe from AMT Ertl. This is an older kit. You can't find this kind of styling anymore on the box art. But that's why it's in my own collection. So I'm just going to pull the lid off on this beauty. And here we have our instruction sheet, which is always nice. Great big write-up from AMT about how Ford and Chevy and Chrysler were all designed up in the ways they were back in that era. This is a nice kit because it actually has a completely new engine as compared to some of the earlier 32 Fords and that. You can build it as stock or some vintage custom stuff with the offy cylinder heads in chrome and the dual Strombecker carburetors. Now they don't give you any custom wheels or anything, but these are the original spoke wheels. So your custom 32 Ford would actually be very, very vintage, like 1948 just after the war type of a uh, hot rod. They give you this nice dashboard. They tell you the colors to paint the panels walnut and your gauges cream and the trim silver. Then of course there's how you build your undercarriage and your engine and wheels assembly. Now, you can build this as a, a fenderless hot rod. They do give you those parts. So there's the splash aprons that would go there. Or you can build it with the fenders, like the ZZ Top Eliminator car. This would be the stock version of the Eliminator, for those of you who remember what it is. And then, of course, there's all your parts going on and your spare tire. Now, let's look at the plastic itself. As I move that out of the way, we can concentrate on the individual pieces, like <laughs> the glass. So here, there we go. They have molded the headlights into the top of the roof glass which keeps them nice and protected. There's our body. It's very cool. It's nice. Got the canvas top on the roof. And here's our parts tree with the fender aprons and our tires and firewall. Next we have our interior panels with the seat and a window trim piece and our interior bucket right there. These nice fenders, which of course the body sits on like that. It's nice detail in this kit. The dashboard and the hood with the louvers. Then of course you get the white wall tire inserts. Another nice touch of this kit on these really skinny tires. Should go in there. Here's our undercarriage, the chassis with all these great parts in here, suspension components. I mean, look at the paneling on there. That's amazing. Then we have our engine and radiator parts right there. And look at the nice detail of the bolt pattern on the flathead Ford engine. And then our final pieces are the chrome, pardon for the bag, you can't really see them too well, 
but there's like the windshield insert and other pieces there's those little chromed heads and our dual carburetor manifold oh and one little other piece these are the only deck halls you get in here which of course are some license plates and that concludes our examination of the 34 Ford 5 window coupe. Well, we hope you enjoyed that review of AMT Ertl's 1934 Ford 5 window coupe. And remember that you can check out the other cars in this series by clicking this video, this video, and this video. And to carry on our series, please click down here to subscribe to us and like us, and we will see you on the next What's in the Box.